right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And the title of this video is going to be called The Most High or the Heavenly Father is Pulling All the Strings. Okay, whether it be, in other words, the Most High is in control of everything. Whether it be man on this planet Earth, man, meaning man, woman, and child. Okay, there is no free will. Or whether it be what uh, Esau have indoctrinated in people, this idea about uh, Mother Earth, where there's uh, natural disasters are happening. Whether nature's just doing what the hell it wants to do, when it wants to do it. And that's not the case. The most high is pulling the strings, whether it be any element on this planet Earth, the water, the trees, the plants animals okay then you can go into the you know the files of the air the different birds okay and whether you go into the spiritual realm the spirits on the left hand side and on the right hand side no matter what it is okay if he gave our lord Shai authority um to create everything Okay, how much more the Heavenly Father? Let's get that real quick. And this is in uh, Colossians, the first chapter. Because you have to think, if our Lord, Yahawashai, was given the power to do these things, then how much more his Heavenly, his Father... I believe this is what 18. No, let's see. Give me a second. Okay. Let's read it. This is Colossians. The uh the first chapter, and I'm gonna start at the start at the 12th verse. It says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of his inheritance. Of the inheritance of the saints in light, whom hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So the subject matter now is beginning to, is coming into uh, our Lord and Savior, Hawashai, who the world ignorantly know as Jesus Christ. True name again, Yahawashai. In the Hebrew verse, this is Colossians 1 and 14. It says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, meaning what? Yahweh created Yahweh Shai and everything created after that spun off of our Lord Yahweh Shai. So check it out. Going into the statement I made about if the Heavenly Father, Yahweh gave the authority to his son to create everything, how much more uh, in control is the Most High? Okay, so let's read it. Verse 16, it says, for by him, the him is who? Yahweh Shai. It says, for by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth. Visible and invisible. So visible is things we can see in this 3D eyesight that we have. Okay, things, birds, the fowls of the air, the uh, same thing, the uh, animals, insects. All right. The, the, the grass, the plants, the trees, the water, the rivers, the oceans, the ponds, the lakes, the peoples, everything that the eye can see, visible, invisible, 
the naked eye cannot see bacteria, you know, back, basically bacteria, fungus, so forth and so on, onto the spiritual realm, which is uh, uh, the different spirits, the spirits, the negative spirits, the positive spirits, okay? The demons is nothing but spirits on the left-hand side, and you have the spirits on the right-hand side. Okay. Yahweh created all these things. It says, whether they be thrones, dominion, principalities. I believe when you go into these principalities, it may you have to let's look it up real quick. Maybe the same principalities that's talked about in the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, where say we fight it uh, not against flesh and blood, but against um one of the things that's mentioned is principalities. And when you go into principalities, let's see what this say before I can, you know, continue speaking. Dominions, principalities. Let's see. Strong's G, 746. Arche. Arche. Okay, so check it out. It says beginning, origin, the, the, the person or thing that commences, the first person or thing in series, the leader, that by which anything begins to be, the origin, the active cause, the extremity of things, the corner of a cell, the first place, principality, rule, uh, magistrate, magistracy. Magistry, 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 magistry. If I'm saying that right, probably got it wrong. So lock it for that. It says of angels and demons. Check it out. You see that? Of angels and demons. Ah, this is going to take me out of it. Let's just go back. So when it says principalities right now, it's talking about go to the last definition is talking about the spirit spirits angels and demons spirits on the left hand side spirits on the right hand side or the negative spirits and the positive spirits in other words it says or powers all things were created by him and for him so if this type of power was given unto him to have rule and authority over all these things how much more the Heavenly Father himself? Okay. Now from there, I want to go. Because what we're going to do in this in this video is show the Most High is in control of all things. When I said, you know, titling this video, the Most High or the Heavenly Father is pulling all the strings, meaning everything is in absolute um, obedience to the Most High. Okay. So let from there let's go here. Let's go to the book of Job. The first chapter. And read this. This is Job chapter one. And we're going to start at verse 6. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, Yahweh. And Satan came also among them. So what is it showing in this verse when you get the understanding of this on a spiritual level? This is saying the sons right here is talking about the spirit, uh, uh, the spirits. The angels, the good angels and the bad, the so-called, not bad angels, but the angels that are uh, on the left-hand side and the angels that are on the right-hand side. Satan is over the spirits, the chief, he's the chief spirit on the left-hand side, okay? And it says, um, they came to present themselves before Yahweh. 
that's showing that the most high is an authority because if you got to come before somebody like if you had to go to, if you have to go to court you have to go before the judge he's the one that's in authority that's going to make the final decision on whatever you're uh, going before the judge about okay this is showing that the most high is in authority and that all his sons are uh, uh, subject to him. And even Satan. Satan came before the Most High and said, I'm present at this council. In other words, showing you that the Most High is in control in the spiritual realm. The spirits are not doing what they want on this planet Earth. They're doing exactly what the Heavenly Father uh, set forth for them to do. Let's read on a little bit. It says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it, yeah, causing havoc. This was his job. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth the Most High and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear the Most High for naught? Has thou, I'm sorry, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? And the answer to that is yes, the Most High has been in protection about at this particular time in history, Yahweh had a protection about Job and his household. It says, Thou hast blessed the works of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. It says, But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he had. Meaning, Satan couldn't do shit to Job because the Most High had a hedge about him. So now Job is saying, Put forth your hand, uh, put forth now thy hand and touch all that he had. So the Most High would have to be the one that lift that hedge up to allow Satan, because the way the Most High would put his hand forth and touch all that Job had was to allow Satan. He would the Most High power would have to allow Satan to touch him. That's how the Most High would touch him. It says, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power. See. It's expressing what I just said. All that he had is in thy power. Uh, only upon himself put not forth thy hand. See, the Most High is giving Satan instructions. It's pretty much a bet. He's giving him the, the rules, instructions. Okay? I'm going to take the heads off of Job, from around Job, and you're going to... I'm gonna allow you gonna have power to do what you want to Job, but you're not gonna be able to put forth thine hand uh, up, upon him. You're not gonna be able to kill him. It says so. Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord, and and I'm gonna stop right there. So this is showing that even Satan is in obedience to the Most High, the chief spirit on the on the left hand side. You see that. Now let's go here. I'm going to go to Isaiah 6. Around the 7th verse. Or 8th verse. It says, uh, Also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? So what this is right here is a um, council in the spiritual realm. The Most High asking a question to the angels. All right. And it says, then said I, here I am, send me one of the uh, angels. Okay. And I'm going to stop right there. You can read on. This is about this particular spirit uh, doing the bidding of the Most High, which is to go down and put a, uh, the spirit of blindness upon 
the children of Israel, the majority of the children of Israel. Okay? So what this is showing is the authority of the Most High. The Most High is, is the, um, the head in the spiritual realm, second in command his son, which he gave all authority. Okay? You can read about that in, uh, what is that, Matthew, the 28th chapter. Basically, the, the, maybe the second or third uh, verse. Second or third to last verse in that chapter. You can go read it. I'm not going to get it right now. But this is showing the Most High is in control. And that the, uh, um, the Most High, when he asks a question, these angels is anxious to do the work of the Heavenly Father. He said, send me. So the angel couldn't go and do this particular uh, task without the Most High sending them, giving him the charge, the order to go do this. All right. Now, from there, let's go to the book of Psalm 89. I'm going to read about. Let's see. Start at verse 7. Psalm 89 and 7, it says, The Most High is greatly to be feared in the assembly of, his, of the saints, saints of the Israelites. Saints can uh, also be the, um, the, you know, the spirits, the angels. It says, And to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. It says, O Yahweh, power of hosts, who is a strong, who is a strong uh, Yahweh, power, yeah, strong Lord, and all caps is talking about Yahweh, like unto thee. And the answer to that is none, or thy faithfulness round about thee. Check this out. It says, thou rulest the raging of the sea. Check that out. When you out in the, if you out in, the, in a, on a ship in the middle of the ocean, there's a major storm happening. There's nothing you can do about it. The waves are going to do what they want to do. But guess who's in control of that? The Most High. He controls the, uh, the magnificent power of the, of the sea. It says, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. So the the uh, the power of the ocean is under the rule is is in servitude in other words unto the most high it says thou hast broken rahab in pieces as one that is slain thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm it says the heavens are thine the earth also is thine okay Everything that's in the skies, the clouds, the, the fowls of the air are uh, uh, under the rule of the Heavenly Father. It's something that belongs to you, whatever belongs to you, you control it. The heavens are dying. The earth also is dying. So everything on this planet earth is, is the Heavenly Father's. It belongs to him. That means he controls it. If you got something that belongs to you, you in control of that. It says, as for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon, or Hermon, shall rejoice in thy name. It says, thou hast a mighty arm. Thy hand, uh, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. The right hand of the heavenly Father is Yahushai, which He gave all power to. It says, "Justice and judgments are thy habitation, uh, are the habitation of thy throne. 
mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Okay? All this is showing the authority and the power of the Heavenly Father. I got a couple of more scriptures and I'm going to end this video. First is uh, Psalm 16 in the first verse. I'm sorry, Proverbs 15, the first verse. It says, the preparation of the heart in man, meaning the mind, heart is talking about mind in man. And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So man, what does that tell us? Man on this planet earth, that means man, woman, and child are not doing their own thing. The most high set, the, the, uh, set up the mind of man, of what the mind, that particular mind of all of us is going to do. Or the, 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 the different minds of all of us, what the hell we going to do, what we think, what comes out of our mouth, ultimately is uh, set up by the most high. And we're reading it right here, Proverbs 16 and 1. Now let's go over here to Proverbs 20, 21 and 1. It says, the king's heart or the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord. So the rulers that grace the face of this planet, even unto this very day, they're not doing what the hell they want. Whether you are a politician, whether you're a president, whether you're a governor, whether you're some a prime minister, whatever your title of authority is on this planet Earth, your mind is in the hand of the Most High. As the rivers, as the rivers of water, He turneth it whithersoever He will. Okay, so the Most High is in control of the mind of man, even. The ones that are in the rulership. So the so-called white man being in rulership, Esau, the Edomites, they're not running shit. They're uh, uh, the most highest pulling the strings in their mind. He's pulling the strings of Esau to make these decisions. On the left hand side, and there's more scriptures that I can go into, but I'm going to end it right here. The most high is in control. He's pulling all strings. Lord willing, this video was edifying. And until the next one, I say, Shalom.